As an entrepreneur and a small business owner, there are many different people I look to for advice and I guess outlook on life. Mm -hmm. One person I follow very closely that listeners may have heard of is Kerwin Ray. Yep. He's an Australian guy, runs an awesome business in the marketing space, but also helps people scale their business. One thing he talks about a lot, and for the first time that I heard it really clicked with me, mm. was that everything is your own fault. Mm -hmm. Now, that might sound a little bit harsh, yeah. but if you think about it, exactly where you are right now, wherever you're listening to this, wherever you're standing, sitting, you're there because of all the decisions that you actively made and therefore everything really is actually your own fault. That's right. And maybe fault's not quite the right word to use because fault, I think we put as a bad thing. It's got, it's a, got negative, a negative connotation to it. Definitely. Yeah. But maybe everything but is your own, own doing. I was just yeah. about to say <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> everything is your own doing, uh, which is very, very true. And um, I think extreme ownership is something that not everybody does. That's right. And you know, there's, there's actually a book called Extreme Ownership. I haven't read it, but I have been recommended it a number of times. I believe it is incredible. Yes. Um, so yes, but taking extreme ownership and owning a circumstance and a situation allows you to then reframe that if it's not going your way, for example, to be able to reframe it and then put in place an action to actually achieve those goals. It's actually really empowering when you do do it and you can put your hand up and say, you know, that was me. Yeah. That was me. Now let's move forward. That's right. And it's not dwelling on it. I think when we're younger, mm. you know, you think about things in the playground or who did that or yeah. it, was, it was dobbing them in and it was seen as such a bad thing. Whereas in the adult world, taking ownership means that you are empowered by your choice to do that. That's right. Um, but the best thing about it is you can change yourself oh, and what on. you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. I think we get almost complacent and fall into this trap where we think that we don't have everything and there's nothing we can do about it. When in fact, you, there's, you have all the power in yourself to do whatever you want about that situation. That is so very true. So I hope that our listeners are inspired and empowered to make their own decisions and their own choices to put themselves in a position that, where they want to be mm. uh, and where they are enjoying themselves and their life and, and happy with where they are yeah. because it is ultimately up to them. That's right. Fantastic, Emily. Thank you for that. Thanks. That got real deep real quick. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it was good. Uh, so if you want to follow some more content of ours, don't forget to follow us on Instagram uh, at with Evelyn and Emily.